He's like, do you think it can come off? And I'm like, I, I hope it can. So before Curated, I ran one of probably the most famous rental car dealerships in Miami. We were dealing with all of the celebrities, all of the, the crazy individuals that would come into Miami. And Lula V, our rental car business, was known for always having the latest, greatest. You know, we had one of the first Aventador Coupes. We had one of the first 458 Spiders. And I really took pride in the quality of the cars. We also had wacky cars like a CLK 63 Black Series and, you know, sort of enthusiast-driven rental car company. And that was our goal always. And one of the things that sort of always excited me was to have like the first or a unique color or anything like that. And uh, we had the opportunity to buy one of the first Aventador Roadsters, I believe in the country. It was one of the launch edition cars. It was a, it was a really, you know, at the time it wasn't that popular. I think today it looks actually stunning. It was like a light silver blue over cream, a Zero Thetis. And it was just absolutely a beautiful car. I don't actually remember who we bought it from now, but I think we got actually a pretty good deal on it. We brought the car in. And at the time I had so much going on and, you know, it was, it was we, Miami, we were always doing events. We were doing a ton of events. We were supporting, you know, if you guys, obviously, if, you, if you're a sports fan, you remember the big three, Miami Heat had LeBron James, Chris Bosh, and Dwayne Wade. And it was like this huge thing for them to go out and win championships and all this stuff. So, so I was really involved in the Miami nightlife world and all these different things. And we got a call when the car was basically brand new that Nike was looking to to basically work on a project with LeBron James. Now, one of my best friends in the world is DJ Irie from the Miami Heat. So we were always close with those guys. When we actually opened Lulavi, we had a, 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 a re-grand opening at a new facility. The guys from the Miami Heat came over. So we were, we were cool with all those guys. And I told Nike, hey, listen, I would love to help out. Let me know what you need. And I wanna support one LeBron James, Miami Heat, and Nike. And uh, they said they were essentially looking to rent some sort of wild exotic, the most expensive exotic they could, and they wanted to rent it for a week. Um, and basically they were gonna wrap the car uh, like LeBron James' new shoe. And I was like, wow, that's you know pretty cool. I said, listen, how about this? I don't actually need you to pay me for this rental. I, I just want the promotion. If Nike's behind this and LeBron James, it'd be incredible. At the time we were just starting to grow on Instagram. I said, you know, I wanna make sure we have Instagram tags. And I would also like to be part of this big event, whatever you're doing. So they actually agreed. We wrote up a, a quick agreement. And it was pretty exciting because it was like dealing with Nike, you know, the creative guys. And so they start sending us some creative files. And we, you know, we, we look at this file and it's this really wild print. And it's essentially the print that was on the inside of the shoe or the edge of the shoe. And it's like this Miami floral, like lines and everything. And they wanted this entire Aventador Roadster that we had just purchased wrapped in this color. So we ended up wrapping this whole car. We had like two or three days to do it. The guys were working around the clock and Nike was producing this massive event at a building called 111 Lincoln, which is this beautiful parking garage in the center of Miami Beach. Um, and they host a lot of events there, different brands. And it, it, it's cool because it's like more of an art piece than an actual parking garage. And Nike was producing an event with like a basketball court, you know, all the his history of LeBron James, all celebrities. It was gonna be a very special event a big production for Nike. They were spending a couple million just in this production. So it's like hours before the event's starting, we finally finished the car. We put our, our Lulavi plate on it, and we have all our branding, we have the Nike check on the car, and we're just so proud of what we were able to accomplish in two days. Nike was thrilled, they saw the photos. The car is basically a brand new car, we haven't even used it at this point. And uh, we flatbed it over to this parking garage, everyone's taking pictures, they're like, what is it? So we put it inside the event and we put it right at the front of the event. And I'm there and, you know, just sort of, you know, I was, I was luckily enough to be invited and I'm there at the event. And I see like everyone is just taking pictures of this car. People are posing with it. And it almost felt like the, the, the theme of the party became this car, not necessarily the new shoe. So, you know, I, again, great for Nike, great for LeBron James. Everyone's having a good time. And part of our deal was I was able to promote that Lou Lavi was part of this. So that was part of our agreement. So I immediately, you know, started reaching out to press and different things. And I had pictures and I reached out to everyone I could. The next morning, uh, when I woke up, uh, literally the LeBron James Lamborghini Aventador was 
everywhere. It was on TMZ, it was on uh, all the shoe sites, it was on all the sports sites. And then the story started to get away with itself and actually talk about it was LeBron James' personal Lamborghini Aventador that he'd wrapped. And then there were stories about Lou Lavie. And then there was a story about LeBron James ruined his event. And there was all these different stories that came from this. Now, the event was actually the first night was like the grand opening, but it was, it was like an event over the week. So the press was coming out and photos were coming out. And I was like, wow, this is incredible brand exposure for letting them borrow a car that's just sitting and it's wrapped. I mean, this is, it was an awesome deal. So I'm posting things about LeBron James and how exciting this is. And then the next day I get a call. And basically we were asked to remove the car. Basically Nike did not like, and LeBron James did not like that the car was overshadowing their event. The car was getting more press than their event, more press than the new shoe. And LeBron James didn't like that the car was like taking, you know, center stage. So I was, I was also upset. I'm like, hey, we wrapped this car. We did all this work. Like it should be at the event, but regardless, I wasn't going to fight with, uh, the, you know, the billion dollar corporation. We removed the car and we were sort of bummed out. We were like, you know, this sort of sucks. You know, I, I, uh, I tried to reach out to the guys from the Miami Heat. LeBron James didn't want to talk about it. I was just going to apologize or something like that. So, you know, we slowly unwrapped the car. We left it the way it was for a little bit to take some more photos and whatnot. And then we actually got sort of a, a this, this crazy idea um, uh, a couple months later, Art Basel happens to be one of the, the largest art events in the world. And every year for Art Basel, we would do some sort of an activation, you know, being a Miami company, sort of tie in with the arts. There's this incredible artist in Miami, really funky guy, you know, very creative, but definitely, you know, out there in the clouds. And But, but great guy and well-known artist. He's worked for Lenny Kravitz. I think he did Lenny Kravitz piano. And he does street art and he does it with a marker. He actually famously did the Sharpie Gallardo, Brett David's Lamborghini Gallardo. And his name is Jonah. Jonah's an incredible artist. And uh, we said, wow, it'd be cool to do another Lamborghini. Um, years ago, he had done the Gallardo. And apparently, we had the opportunity to actually get it featured at Art Basel because of his contacts in the art world. So I was like, wow. Now we've got this event tour unwrapped. Now we're going to have Jonah painting this thing live at Art Basel, you know, with his Sharpie, you know, markers. And this is just going to be like mind blowing. You would assume any normal thinking person would have clear, clear wrapped the event tour. But part of the pitch, because it was featured during Art Basel and it was a big bank that was actually wanted it featured at a dinner and all these different things. Um, we didn't wrap it with clear. It was like, no, this is, this car is getting painted on direct, you know, the sharper mar Sharpie marker. There's no clear wrap on this at all. So it was, it had this like risk factor to it. So again, a, a massive, you know, risk with that. A week before Jonah starts and, you know, he's slowly working on it. And, you know, Jonah's a young guy. He's, you know, dating girls and he's partying. He's doing all these things. But time's ticking. Like we've got, you know, a few days left uh, before our Basel. And, you know, the theme was for him to be painting part of the car during our Basel. So ends up Jonah doesn't finish it, um, but we have it shown in our Basel. And it's like half, you know, half the car is now done in Sharpie. And Jonah's finishing the rest of the half and slowly going around it. But the car's again getting a ton of press, a ton of exposure. And our Basel came and went. I mean, we got some great promotion but he didn't actually finish the car. So the car was ended up, it was half graffitied in the Sharpie and we were hoping he had finished the car. And then we realized at this point that, you know, you know, a week went by, a few days went by. We, we, we need to figure out what to do with the car. Are we going to sell it as an art piece or what are we going to do? Ironically, the car ended up getting featured everywhere. Again, incredible promotion, cover of dub magazine, cover of, you know, some newspapers, different things like that. Incredible, insane promotion. We manifested a lot of great ideas with Lula V and these guerrilla marketing. I mean, we never really had a big budget, um, but we always made it work. And that was one of the cool things about that time in the company. So that car exploded, but it was actually the same car as the LeBron James car. And then one day a dealer called me and said, Hey, you know, I'm, I need an Aventador Roadster like tomorrow. You know, what are you doing with that car? And I said, well, it has like no miles on it, but it is half sharpied. And he's like, do you think it can come off? And I'm like, I, I hope it can. <laughs> so we ended up taking, it was like a super easy solvent. It wasn't even lacquer thinner, imagine. It was like something, I forget, I don't know if it was what it was. It wasn't brake clean or anything like that. It was like grease and wax remover. And somehow the car literally just wiped down. 
I know Jonah was upset. He didn't get to finish his piece, but at the end of the day, we were a business. So we had to sell this car. So I think essentially with the exception of maybe a prototype or something, I think we had the world's most famous Aventador Roadster. Buying a used car, especially sight unseen, can be a very scary process and you should never do that without getting the car inspected first. And the best and easiest way to have that done is using the Lemon Squad. They are an amazing resource that can almost immediately inspect a car for you anywhere in the country. They have no hidden fees, they're the largest company in the industry, and they have the fastest response times in the industry. So check them out now at the link in the description below. You can use the code VINWIKI for a 10% discount, and they will literally go tomorrow and check out any car in the country that you are looking to buy. It is the best way not only to find out if you're being scammed, find out if the car is a piece of garbage, and to make sure that you're buying exactly the car that you're looking for. So next time you buy a car, make sure to use the Lemon Squad.